Hey my beautiful babes, I thought I'd try to put out some content for you um, and almost do a sort of palette review um, just because I have played with this brand before but I haven't tried this specific palette yet so I want to give it a go and I wanted to show you guys um, kind of my thought process behind some of my looks and just put some content out for you and engage with you guys again. Um, and do want to let you guys know that I did go ahead and start a Patreon. Um, I really, really want to put more content out for you. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of really great supplies. Currently, I'm recording on a 2014 MacBook Air, and for my lighting right now, I'm using my cell phone for light. So I don't really have a lot of great options at the moment, but... I'm hoping to become more financially stable and be able to afford a good recording setup um, and organize my room so that I can put better content out for you. So with that said, let's get started. <music> So the palette I want to review today comes from Shop uh, Jayco Cosmetics. Um, it is their coffee palette. This is the outside. This is what it comes in. I have opened it before, but I've never actually touched mm. these. Now, I have played with their Tropicana palette, um, and I love it. It's a really colorful palette, and I'm also going to be using that today. But this is the palette I want to focus on. Um, but I wanted to put out some more looks using brown tones because I do a lot of really colorful looks and uh, I know not everyone wants to do that. Not everyone is like crazy like I am. Uh, but this is the Tropicana palette. It is actually currently one of my favorite palettes. I just think all the colors are so pigmented so I'm hoping with the quality of this palette is something that we see pay off with the coffee palette as well. Look how gorgeous it is. Like look at this packaging. Uh, so with that being said, I start with my eyes first. I am going to start with this. I can't quite punch into my face so that you can see. So I'll try to sit a little far forward, but you might see me like wobble back and forth trying to, you know, go back and forth between letting you guys see what I'm doing and then holding my camera or holding my mirror down here. So these are all the shades. I want you guys to see that. Look how pretty that packaging is. Uh, I usually don't really know what I'm going to do until I start dabbling. Um, so I think beforehand I am going to do a couple of swatches for you just to see like the payoff. Um, there's nothing on this arm besides my tattoos. So I'm going to go into I think Latte which is this very shimmery shade. Um, I'm going to do that. Oh, I guess I'm going to do it on this arm. Do you have anything? No, there's nothing on this arm except a little bit of lipstick from earlier up here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that right there and just... Wow. Oh, wow. So as you can see, it is very pretty. I really like... It's very glowy. That is really pretty. I was not expecting it to be like that golden, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm going to dip into this coffee shade. It looks to be a pure black, so that's what I have on my finger. And then we're going to go right underneath it. It's pretty good. Um, probably one of the better blacks I've seen. It does patch out a little bit towards the end, so I'm going to go over it just one more time. I'm just putting my finger lightly on there. But it does layer really well, so if I layered it, I think I'd get a really good black out of that. Um, and then I think the last one we're going to go into, I think I want to try this noir color. I just think that looks really pretty. I'm going to put it on this clean finger, this one right there. Just swirl it around. That's what's on the finger. And then just right underneath the black, just go ahead. Okay, so it looks like it's kind of a uh, like a shimmery black. I'm not sure I really like that. Maybe it's just not my thing. 
I've never really seen a shimmery black that wasn't just like completely colored like weird colors so I'm not sure I'm gonna use that one specifically today but overall I mean the palette has really good pigment just because I didn't specifically like that one color doesn't mean say anything about the palette itself but it did pay off really well as you can see they look really really good especially that color right up there I'm really impressed with that so let's get started on all this because that's really what you guys want me to do right like you don't want to keep seeing this naked face talking to you. Looks kind of scary. Now I'm not fancy. I don't have like a specific eye primer yet. So I tend to just use whatever's on hand. Typically I use a concealer. I think I'm going to go in with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I really like this for concealer and for eye priming. I mean it really really does work. I'm actually almost completely out of it. You can't really tell but I have used the heck out of this so and I'm using this so I'll try to make it so you can see what I'm doing here but I have to look at this because the lag on my computer is awful and then I take this tiny 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 brush and I use it to smooth it out I just think it works a lot better okay so that's spread out the first thing we are going to do is I'm going to go in with chocolate it is a like a dark brown color um, and I'm just going to swirl it once or twice and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this in my crease so blending is like super important so that all the colors actually shine through this is the color it kind of came out almost black if I'm am I crazy that looks almost black I'm gonna go in just a little bit more with chocolate it's on the brush now that that's smoked out, what I like to do right here is I like to highlight my brow bone. I think I'm actually going to go in with the shade Vanilla. And I'm just going to lightly swipe in with this brush. Oh my gosh, that is cute. Look at that. I can really see that shine. I think I'm going to go in with Cafe. Dab it a couple of times. It definitely got on there. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't even know if that works with having a flashlight directly on it. So we're just going to take that and I just put it in between. So I'm just going to smear it on. And no, I'm not done here. I'm going to go back to the brush that I used for the chocolate color. And then I'm going to brush it up into this to start blending it. And then we're going to blend, 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 blend into filth. If you're not blending until your fingers cramp, you're not blending enough. If you feel like you're getting a black eye, you're getting close. Then I am just going to go back a little bit with that vanilla and just re-highlight my brow bone. I think that looks really cute. I am going to go ahead and cut the crease on this eye, and then I will get into the cut crease part. Okay. So my crease has been cut. Um, I just used that same concealer that I did earlier and I put it on and smoothed it out over my eye. So we are going to go ahead and I'm actually going to take the Tropicana um, palette by Shop Joko Cosmetics. Um, and by the way, I will drop the links for this in, in the description box. This is not sponsored. They are a um, small business. I like to help this brand as much as possible and give it as much clout. Not that I'm famous, but I want to help out. So I'm going to go into the shade Toucan, which is the darker of the two greens within this palette. I'm just going to dab, dab, dab. Um, and then I'm just going to put in this outer corner. Uh, like, look at that. That's so pretty. That is such a pretty color. And I just, I really like to build, build. Um, just get it as absolutely like pure as possible like I just dunked that part of my face into it and I'm just gonna blend it a little over to the side I'm going to take shade Kiwi which is this one on this brush and I'm just gonna dab it just a little bit and I'm gonna pop it right here and just overlay it and blend that together a little bit there we go on. Oh, that looks so pretty. That is so cute. So I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to 
tap it into Toucan, and then I'm just going to go under my waterline and just go ahead and fill that in. There we go. Oh, I think that's, I think this is a really pretty look. I am going to go ahead and finish this eye. I will come back really fast um, and show you how I do wing liner over here. Um, and then we'll kind of get to the end results and do the rest of the face. Okay, I am back. I've done the other eye. I actually really like how this one came out. I am going to go ahead and show you guys some of my wing liner. It's kind of like the one thing I actually can sort of do. Um, and I just got a new liner, so I'm really excited. I am going to be using the ColourPop Liquid Liner, just in shade black. I'm boring, and I like black liner. Um, so I always start on the outside. Some people start from the inner corner. I usually start inner corner on this eye just because it's easier. Um, but I always go from where I want it to go, so I like to go from my very outer corner and just draw. This looks so brown. Let me just go like. Oh, this looks brown. Is this brown? No way. I just used this earlier. What the heck? Do I have two color pop liners? I have two color pop liners, and I didn't know. Okay, so we're going to do this again and not use the brown one because I want to use the black one. So let's try it. Okay, so like I said, I'm just going to go over where I went. You just go out. Oh, yeah. And then you just make a fine point. See, I draw out way too far from where most people are comfortable. So I have to cover my mouth because I have to get in. And then I just take it at an angle here. Just like this. And just get it down onto my eyelid. That's the hardest part is connecting it to your actual eyelid. And then you just fill it in. Um, I get a lot of people that ask about how I do my wing liner. And so I just wanted to help some people out that really wanted to know. Okay. So... I just went ahead and did this one really fast. This is what it looks like. And again, I'm by no means an expert. This is just something I like to do. I like to go a little overboard. Um, and honestly, I don't think I do like the best job at it. So if you find better tech, if you find better, if you find better techniques, do it by all means you don't have to do exactly what i do everyone does things a different way i've learned that through my time in makeup so i'm going to prime my face um it's not the most necessary step in my opinion um you can do without it but i just like it because it makes makeup taking off easier in my opinion and it does i have really big pores on my nose because i got a big jewish nose um and i just think it's easier i um and you ooh. I'm having a really hard time with my words right now. It is midnight. I'm tired. <laughs> um, I'm using the No Pore Problem Prime Essence um, by Touch and Soul. I actually really do like this. You don't need a lot. I did a look earlier today and I used way too much and my face just felt like wet. So just a reminder, you don't need a ton with this. So I'm just going to go on my forehead and just kind of a thin line. Just like that. You can't even, well, you can sort of see it. Um, oh my god. Okay, well, that's kind of all I needed here. Kind of try to get a little more. Oh my god, it's going to go in my mouth. I'm just going to go here. I'm trying to go fast. I kind of just squiggle. And then make sure you get your chin, but this will probably reach. Oh, good. Oh, it's so runny. Okay. And then you just... I'm going to take this clean hand and just rub it in. 
Now everyone does this differently. I've tried to do it with like a like foundation brush. I just feel like I can do it with the other primer I use. This one not so much. I just it doesn't work as well. Um, try obviously not to smear your eyeliner. Make sure you cover your nose and right here. Again, go down the neck, especially if you're going to do the right thing and put foundation on your neck. I'm going to take this and my foundation. I'm just finishing the product I have because I don't want to waste it and I'm struggling to find any foundation that actually matches me. And yes, I am using a brush. Stop screaming. And I just kind of dab it and then I dab it on my chin just a little bit and then I'm just going to take it and go lee, 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 lee. and yes it can create kind of a weird effect on the skin but you'll see how I take care of that later. This makes me look so much paler but it actually matches. It's just covering up how inconsistent my skin is. I never realized how pasty this made me look. I wonder if everyone just thinks I'm a ghost. It's okay. I am just a ghost. So, you can probably tell it's really patchy right now. So, to get rid of the inconsistencies, I'm going to go ahead and take Beauty Blender and just really press it down. It kind of takes away that those weird textures that brushes put in. So, just... So I'm not going to use my ColourPop concealer because like I said earlier, I really wanted to use this, my uh, e.l.f. Hydrating um, Concealer. It is very liquidy in comparison. That's why I don't like to use it on my eyes because I just feel like it's a little too liquidy for my comfort. So what I actually want to do first is I'm going to go in and use Take Home the Bronze. I just take this brush, just dab it in just a little bit. Um, I'm pale, so I like to look like I've come back to life a little bit. And just take it like that. Does anyone else make really weird faces while they do makeup? I watch other makeup artists do like really cute YouTube videos and they're like, and I'm like, Okay, and then after I do that, I just take it here, kind of, and then here. I have a really round jaw, uh, so I do try to, I don't know, I guess create an illusion that I don't. I make it a little sharper. A lot of girls want to soften their jaw, but if I soften my jaw anymore, I'm going to turn into round Spongebob, and no one wants me to look like around normal Spongebob. Okay. And I will go back in and like blend this out a little bit. I just do this before concealer just because I think it's easier. Does everyone else do their makeup in their bed or does everyone else have like a professional setup and I just missed out? Manities are like a thousand dollars. I don't know where you guys are getting a thousand dollars but I don't have a thousand dollars. Okay. And I look a little bit alive. I'm going to take this and see, look at how big this tip is. It's huge. And again, you don't need a lot, so I'm just going to like dab it just a bit under my eye. Because you'll see, it blends out really far. I'm going to cut this like that, this like that. Try to give myself a little bit of a chance to look normal. Girls with mustaches understand. That's weak. Nothing. I'm going to take this brush that you saw me use earlier and I'm just going to go in. This is really good for getting into like small crevices because I don't want the green under my eye to go away. And then I just brush down a little bit, and you do kind of create that triangle effect. Oh, it is getting a little bit on that green, but it's okay. Ooh, it's turning my brush green. Does anyone else want to just 
absolutely cut all of their hair off in quarantine because I already went crazy and dyed my hair black from blonde. And I'm kind of craving just being bald. But like at the same time, I love my long hair and I feel very, very pretty. But like, I would look so punk. But also at the same time, I would look like a peanut. I'm not sure that's the look I'm really going for. And then, of course, we are going to bake ourselves. I like the Jeffree Star setting powder. Um, I like the way it smells. I like the way it makes me look. And I just put a very small little bit in there. You can't even see. Can you see now? Can you see now? Okay, you know how to use setting powder, and if you don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> I like to take an angled brush. My hair got in it. And just really go in. Get it on there. And then I'm just going to, I like to start here first. Just. Okay. And then we're just going to let this bake a little bit. Just kind of let it sit. Um, put a little bit more on my forehead and nose and mustache. And then now I am going to put the blush on. Um, probably you're like, you set your face before blush? Or this is how most of you do it. And I'm just not in the times. So I'm going to go ahead and put some blush on. When you're this pale, you can get away with doing oh, too much blush. And then I'm going to take Peppermint Frost, my beloved. It's like the one thing I like to do is just destroy my face with highlight. Like, look at that. Oh. oh. Yes. So there you go. Wow. Pop in. I'm going to go ahead and pop some lashes on really fast. Kind of complete this look. And then I'll come back for lips. We're back. And we're going to do lips. I am going with a more brown tone. Um, it is shade Wifey by Spoiled Lips Cosmetics. Um, another small brand that I really want to help represent. Oh. The lashes. The lashes are by Bougie, Be uh, Bougie Beauty Vault. I know for a fact right now that they are on hiatus. They are rebranding. So keep an eye out. They should be opening back up soon and they should have some cool products. I am an affiliate with them um, as far as I know right now. But they, like I said, they are rebranding, but they do have really good quality products. So when they're open back up, please go at least give them a look and check them out. Again, all the links will be dropped in the down there so that you guys can check everything out but this is Spoiled Lips Cosmetics shade wifey um, I like to overline my lips a little bit I have really thin lips as you can tell if you have beautiful big lips girl if you want to overline you overline if you don't want to overline don't overline you do you or boy or gender fluid we welcome everyone here so I personally overline just a little bit not so much that it's noticeable Just like this. Would have been funny if I was like, mm. not noticeable. I love this lipstick. It dries down super matte. Um, I use their stuff all the time. So this is the finished product. I am really happy with how this turned out. I was a little nervous, so let me kind of get closer. A little awkward. No friends here. This is the eyes. Everything up close. Alright, so like I said, I started a Patreon just today. And I will drop the link. Um, and please go check out these brands. They're amazing. I really had a great time. Um, I love trying new brands, trying new things. Shop Joko is what I call it. It's Jayco. Um, but they are really great. I love shopping with them. Um, Bougie Beauty Vault will be back open soon. Go check out Spoiled Lips Cosmetics. And if you haven't, or if you're thinking about it, just go ahead and leave us a like and maybe subscribe if you really want. I know there's thousands and thousands of beauty makeup things out there, but I would really appreciate it. I am starting out, and I want to be a person on YouTube that can help others. I really, really want to start giving back. Um, starting one small brand at a time and eventually one day I really hope that I can give back to each and every one of you uh, like I said go check out my patreon it helps me a lot um, 
I have some other stuff on my Twitter and everything will be dropped below. And I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.